The president of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops has requested an emergency collection for those impacted by natural disasters. The announcement from Los Angeles Archbishop Jose Gomez follows the destruction caused by Hurricane Laura and continuing California wildfires. Correspondent Mark Irons reports now from the studio. Mark? Tracy, this will be a voluntary special collection that bishops around the country can consider taking up to help in the humanitarian recovery effort. Archbishop Gomez says that thousands of homes, businesses, and churches have been severely damaged, and the impacts will be long-lasting. As the country struggles with a pandemic, people along the Gulf Coast and parts of California are facing an added burden, massive hurricane damage and ongoing wildfires. Oh. Just keep going. Oh Over the holiday weekend, evacuations from a blazing Sierra National Forest. Some hikers say they barely made it out. I think if we had stayed just 10 minutes more, we might not have been so lucky. Now the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops calls on the country to help out. Money gathered through a national collection will fill the bishop's emergency disaster fund and support the efforts of Catholic charities and Catholic Relief Services as they and their local agencies respond to immediate emergency needs for such necessities as water, food, shelter, and medical care, and aid in long-term rebuilding and recovery efforts. The needs are great. Seattle Archbishop Paul Achen heads the U.S. Bishops Conference National Collection Committee. After speaking with church officials in the disaster areas, he contacted the USCCB president, Archbishop Jose Gomez, and recommended the national relief effort. Heartbreaking was the word he used to describe some of the Gulf Coast devastation from Hurricane Laura. There's no power, there's no potable water, and homes are destroyed. And he says in California, raging wildfires forced church communities in the Diocese of Monterey to flee. A number of parishes have had to evacuate. Uh, the Camaldolese Monastery uh, had to evacuate. And uh, some of these priests have not even been able to return yet to their rectories. Archbishop Achen tells me he is aware that many are facing financial burdens right now because of the coronavirus. Still, that doesn't take away from the struggle that those facing these natural disasters feel at this time. As one example, he tells me that Lake Charles, Louisiana, will probably face at a minimum five years to recover from Hurricane Laura. Tracy. Okay, Mark, thank you so much. Correspondent Mark Irons reporting for us tonight.